Winter, so a little bit of time has passed since the last video. Um, so what we did was, as you see from the beginning of this video, we did uh, subsoil this, and we spread lime. Or actually, no, I think we did this. Yeah, we did this last video. What am I thinking? Uh, but we did spread lime. That's what you've seen the beginning of this video. Um, I did have a meeting with Regis, and that's what brings us to today. I think I'm going to plant the grass now because uh, what Regis has in mind is he's starting a forestry company, and he kind of wants me to get started for him. So what happened was, he just basically asked me if I had any experience with forestry. And I told him, indeed, I did have some experience. And he asked me if I would like to help him get this business underway. Let me just make sure there's grass in that. There we go. Now, I'll be heading out in spring. And his forest area is pretty far from here. It's not even in this country, actually. Um, I was a little worried about my farm, but I think I can probably hire someone to just do the uh, little bit of work that we have. Basically, I really need my sheep taken care of and my fields. Um, I was thinking of maybe holding off on the big field over there. But uh, I really don't want to. We really do need to start getting things planted. So we'll do that and hopefully uh, I'll be back before harvest anyway. At the most I'll be gone maybe a couple months. But the deal is pretty good I think. Uh, what he offered me is a percentage of whatever uh, he makes from me cutting the trees down and selling them. He hasn't given me the percentage yet. I believe he's probably going to wait and see um, what it gets first. That, that's kind of what it is. He wants to know 
what kind of profit he's going to make if it's going to be even worth his while. So we're going to go up there and we're going to test it out. And also, he's going to give me that field that we're looking at right there. Uh, he knows that I've been wanting all the adjacent fields to my farm. And he owns that field. And so he did offer that up as well. So I thought that that was a pretty decent deal. So this spring I will be heading out and working his forest for him. I'm hoping it's going to be kind of lucrative because with the money that we possibly get there, we can maybe buy another field. Uh, or better yet, even buy some cows. I'm leaning more towards buying cows, actually. I see that weight there. I hope that's not going to be a miss. So yeah, it has been a pretty uneventful winter, um, so far anyway. Haven't seen any snow yet. I don't even believe we've seen any rain. But yeah, I figured I was, I was going to do this in the spring. But, since I'm going to do that now, and uh, I won't be here, I want to get this done now, and hopefully we can get a couple cuts off this. I do happen to know that uh, Jean's grand, uh, grandson, godson, he was looking for work a while back, so I may contact Jean and see if his godson still needs to work. Um, I know he can drive a tractor. So I'm sure he can handle mowing if it has to be done. Like I said, I'm hoping to be out of there in a couple months, so I'll probably be back in time for mowing and definitely be back in time for harvest. So if anything, I may need him to just look after the sheep and possibly seed the big field for me. Um, I'm going to try to get the, the big field cultivated. Which I don't think I should have any problem doing since it's, it's still midwinter. Alright guys, so I'm going to finish up here, and I will see you on the other side.
look at that. We had just enough fertilizer to finish this field. That is fantastic. I think I'm going to hit this little piece over here quick. Right along the edge here because I still see some white. Definitely want to make sure that this is all grass in here. That as well. There we go. Perfect. So, I do believe I would probably have time to cultivate the big field if I wanted to right now. Um... I'm thinking of maybe leasing a larger cultivator than what we have. Those are my... Of course, I just hit it. We install these little garden lights. Just so we can... Oh, is that... Hmm. We may have to get rid of those. Because it looks like the hitbox on them is quite large. That's disappointing, but not a big deal. Wow. Yeah, okay. Why is the hitbox on them so big? Oh, that's kind of crazy. All right, we'll have to get rid of those. But, I'm thinking of getting a bigger cultivator to do that field. You know, there really is no rush. Because we still have about another month or two of winter, so... Yeah, there's really no rush on that, guys. I'm just going to leave that there. Hey, so... This is probably going to be a shorter episode. Maybe not with uh, the things that I had in the beginning, but overall, things to do. Because, again, it is winter. We don't have a lot to do. Um, like I say, in the springtime, we are going to be doing that logging for him. And that's going to be, I imagine, quite a large job. Now, he says that he's got everything that we're going to need. And he's got some things that I'm pretty excited about using actually um, I believe he has like uh, the scorpion king up there um, and yeah he's got like a wood chipper but he said that he's just worried about logs right now so let's just check these guys to make sure they're doing all right make sure they don't need to be fed no they look good there we go. You can see my little guard lights that I put in. I thought they looked nice just to light the things up here. Now, I'm wondering, because I have them here, I'm probably going to have to move these ones as well. I'm just going to get rid of these ones because I won't be able to get the wool out of here because those hitboxes on them are just ridiculous. So, yeah. I hope everybody's having a great day. If you liked the video, guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time.